besides being considered a legend of pop and rock music. Rod Stewart is a powerful man who knows very well how to enjoy life. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this singer lives? In this video you will find out all about Rod Stewart's luxurious life. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1945 in suburban Highgate, in London, England, Sir Roderick David Stewart, better known simply as Rod Stewart, is a great singer and a very talented songwriter. Coming from a middle-class family, his career began in 1962 when he started playing the harmonica. After being part of several musical groups including as a vocalist, such as in Jimmy Powell and the Five Dimensions, Soul Agents, Jeff Beck Group and the Most Long Living Group, Faces, Rod Stewart's popularity in the world grow more and more, which opened doors for a successful solo career for him. Throughout his career, Rod has composed several songs that have reached the top of the American and global music charts, such as Sailing, I Don't Want to Talk About It, Have You Ever Seen the Rain, You Are My Heart, Do You Think I'm Sexy, among many others. His hoarse voice was responsible for helping him sell more than 250 million albums and singles throughout his career, in addition to winning him a Grammy and a Brit Award. The British rock singer's success has spanned more than 60 years, long enough to amass a giant net worth. Apartment Rod Stewart is a rock star who doesn't compromise on luxury and comfort when it comes to choosing where to live. He owns, for example, a duplex penthouse at Lansdowne Place, located in Ireland, in the Ballsbridge district of Dublin 4, which offers high-end housing and is close to several local tourist attractions. Although it is not known which of the estates is the one belonging to the singer, each apartment in the Lansdowne Place penthouse is quite modern, with top-of-the-line finishes, and reaching up to 3,400 square feet of internal area. With them all having lovely balconies and living rooms surrounded by glass windows, which provide great views of the city, especially of Aviva Stadium, which is right next to the complex. It is worth noting that Lansdowne Palace is a luxury property built on a 6.8-acre plot, which offers a number of services to its residents, such as 24-7 guest care, a sophisticated residential club, a cinema with custom-made seating, a gym with high-end equipment and treatment rooms for the residents' well-being, plus a private meeting venue and a lovely garden in the outdoor area. Rod Stewart's penthouse is speculated to have three cozy bedrooms, being one of the largest and most modern on-site, with him buying it in 2021 for an estimated €6,500,000. UK Mansions When it comes to luxury residences, Rod Stewart does own some pretty interesting ones. He owns a mansion called Dington House, in the countryside of Harlow in Essex County, UK. The century-old mansion is situated in front of a beautiful lake, having already undergone several changes since the singer bought it, such as the construction of a large soccer field, on which Rod Stewart loves to spend his free time on. Penny Lancaster, wife of the rock musician, has already shown a little of the house's interior, such as his office, which has glass windows with beautiful views of the garden, where the singer usually goes to sunbathe. Rod Stewart currently lives in this residence, and according to some sources, he bought the property in 2013 for £4,650,000. The rock singer also once owned another 17-acre mansion called Wood House in Essex County, with it being purchased in 1986. The main house is three stories and 10,000 square feet in size, resembling a medieval palace. Among the things that stand out in the mansion are the ornate plaster moldings on the ceiling, in addition to the large stained glass windows over the doors and the stone fireplaces that were hand-carved, all of which help make the environments more glamorous. However, the external area of the lot has a well-cared garden, besides having a guest house and several leisure spaces such as, as a soccer field, a luxury swimming pool, a charming lake and patios from where it is possible to appreciate the enchanting landscapes of the region. On top of all this, it is believed that Winston Churchill once lived in this property during WW2. And according to media reports, the singer bought the mansion for £1,200,000, but sold the property in 2019 for £4,700,000. 
U.S. Mansions Rod Stewart doesn't skimp when it comes to investing his wealth in high-end real properties. The singer also owns real estate in the United States, such as a waterfront mansion in the Palm Beach Enclave on Florida's East Coast, something he bought in 1995. The mansion is 12,340 square feet, being located on an approximately 1.5-acre lot that extends to a private area on the beach, where the singer and his wife have been spotted a few times. Inside the property, there is a dining setting facing the sea, in addition to a beautiful veranda, next to a patio to enjoy the sunny days, which is next to a large luxury pool, where the rocker once took a fall while recording a video. Little is known about the mansion's interior, except that it has a vintage decoration, with gold picture frames in the rooms, besides having a kitchen in a clean design and a very spacious living room, which has a large mirror and century-old paintings on the walls, besides a beautiful piano, where Rod Stewart likes to sing in the company of his daughter. This was the mansion in which the singer quarantined in 2020, spending time alongside his family, and taking the opportunity to have fun and redecorate some of the property's rooms. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the rock star bought the property for $7,200,000, however the Palm Beach Mansion is estimated to be worth $20 million currently. Going up in price, Rod Stewart's most impressive property is his summer home in California, which is in Beverly Park Terrace, a super-exclusive condo in Los Angeles where other celebrities also reside, such as Sylvester Stallone. The country-style mansion is 18,700 square feet in area, being that the singer and his wife redecorated the place with antique furniture and with lush paintings, in addition to Italian and French pieces, for which Rod Stewart has a great fascination. The house has several amenities, including large living rooms, a dining room with marble statues, eight luxurious bedrooms, a library with a fireplace and a sophisticated bar with mirror walls. Outside, the extensive four-acre site is surrounded by trees, with several patios for relaxing, a fountain at the main entrance and a swimming pool to enjoy in the leisure days. Rod Stewart bought the property in 1991 for $12,100,000, but it is currently estimated that it costs around $60 million. Cars Rock legend Rod Stewart doesn't skimp when it comes to buying luxury cars, especially high-speed vehicles. His first sports car was a 1969 Marcos GT, which today can be found for sale for as much as $46,000. He couldn't help but also invest in a 2007 Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, a vehicle worth around $110,000. Another car that has passed through the star's garage is a 1977 Porsche 911 Turbo Carrera, which currently costs around $130,000. In the 1990s, Rod bought an iconic Lamborghini Diablo, shelling out 150,000 pounds at the time. For more comfortable traveling, Rod forsakes his sportscas and instead uses his luxurious Rolls-Royce Ghost, a car that, depending on its version and year, can cost up to $400,000. Still talking about Lamborghini, he once had the 1988 QV model, a rare car that can be found for sale for around $450,000. One vehicle that the star seems to still have to this day in his garage is a Ferrari F8, a super sports car worth approximately $460,000. In that same price range, the Brit also owned a 1977 Lamborghini Countach LP400 Periscope. Raising the bar even higher, Rod had a 1972 Lamborghini Miura SV Coupe. Depending on how well kept it is, this historic vehicle can currently sell for around $1,500,000. Another vehicle that was one of Stewart's favorites was his 2003 Ferrari Enzo. After selling it, he deeply regretted it. After all, the car has appreciated in value and today can be purchased by collectors for $3 million. Rod Stewart surely has an enviable car collection. Extravagant Travels At the peak of his 77 years, Rod Stewart thoroughly enjoys using his wealth to spend some good times with his family in different destinations. On a trip to Cernabio, Italy, the star stayed at the Villa d'Est, a historic five-star hotel built in 1873, with classic and romantic architecture and luxury infrastructure. The hotel also offers a swimming pool, a gym, tennis, and squash courts. Not to mention its golf course with 18 holes. And to stay in the hotel's most luxurious 7,500-square-foot villa, a true and complete mansion, you have to fork out about $16,000 per night. On another occasion, 
Rod vacationed aboard a yacht in St. Tropez, a French commune of paradisiacal natural beauty surrounded by crystal blue waters. The boat chosen was the 140-foot-long Emotion 2, which offers exquisite decks for unforgettable rides. Built in 2007, the yacht offers accommodation for up to 10 people in its five cabins, with a special mention to the master suite possessing a bathtub that overlooks the ocean. The interior design is top-notch, featuring the strong presence of wood and red decorations. It is possible to make use of a very complete gym, a relaxing jacuzzi on the deck to enjoy the sea breeze, a bar space for preparing drinks and a big screen for family movie sessions. And for Rod Stewart to rent this luxury yacht, he had to shell out something like $156,000 a week. Personal Life Coming from a time of sex, drugs and rock and roll, Rod Stewart has enjoyed his youth quite a bit, hooking up with many women. No wonder he has eight children from five different mothers and has been married three times. His first child, born in 1963, is Sarah Streeter, but Sarah was put up for adoption. His first wife was actress and model Alana Stewart, and the marriage lasted from 1979 until 1984. They had two children, Kimberly and John Stewart, the singer's fourth child is the result of his relationship with model Kelly M. Berg, with whom he was with from 1983 to 1990. The same year of their breakup, he met Rachel Hunter, who became his second wife, with whom the star had the children Renee and Liam Stewart. He met the British model Penny Lancaster in 1999, and they married in 2007, with her 26 years younger than him. Together they had two sons, Alistair and Aidan and the couple seems to be very satisfied with their relationship and willing to be together for the rest of their lives. Net Worth With over 60 years of a very successful career, Rod Stewart has amassed enough wealth to spare and live out the rest of his life with peace of mind, should he ever wish to retire. But everything seems to point out that the singer is not the least bit interested in leaving the stage and recording studios. In 2021, for example, he released yet another album among his unbelievable 32 discographies. Rod is actually one of the music stars who has produced the most albums in history, and he has made a lot of money with this fact. Going along with all his album releases, the Brit has also done exactly 32 tours, which have certainly been his biggest source of income. His 2016 hits tour, for example, grossed $6,700,000 in just four events. Not to mention the contract he signed in 2011 to do his legendary Las Vegas concert residency, receiving $56 million to perform for two years, however he has continued to renew these contracts to this day. And because he has been working tirelessly for many years now, it is currently estimated that his net worth is around the $300 million mark. That's a lot of money for Rod Stewart to enjoy his old age and later divide with his heirs. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.